Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling the Aldar HQ building by MZ Architects. It's quite an interesting vertical circular building and I thought it would be an interesting challenge to model this in Revit. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe for daily tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to be modeling this as a conceptual mass, so I'm just going to start off by making a metric mass and first I'm just going to set the units to meters, I prefer meters, okay and I'm just going to go into south elevation. Now this building is about 110 meters high so I'm just going to create a reference plane about 110 meters from the ground just to have something to determine the height of the building and then I'm just going to go here to model and I'm going to create a circle, so I'm just going to go model, circle, and let's just create a generic circle, something like that, and this will be the actual building that I'm going to be modeling. Now once we have that, I'm just going to go here to, again, reference plane, and I'm just going to create two vertical reference planes on each end of this circle, I'm just going to select this one and mirror it to the other side. Now that we have that, I can go into floor plan and here we have this is the center line and I'm just going to go here to reference line, arc and I'm going to create a reference arc like this to get the actual width of our building. And now I'm just going to go into 3D, this is our building, this is the arc, I'll select the arc and go create form. And now let's just unlock it for a second and we can pull this up all the way to the top of the building. Now once I have that I can create a void that cuts this to the dimension of our building. So I'm just going to go to south elevation again. I'm going to be using this circle. I'm just going to go to model, line, create a line like this, go up all the way around and end up in the same place. And then using the split line tool I'm just going to split this and using trim and extend I'll just trim this into place. Okay so now this is basically something that we can turn into a void so I'm just going to select it to go create form and go void. So once we have this void you can see this is now cut to the actual size of the building and now it's time to create our extrusion. Now we're only creating half of the building, the other half is the same, so I'm just going to go here to south elevation, again create a circle, let's start off from something like that, yeah let's make a circle like that and let's make the, let's maybe make it a bit bigger, okay something like, like that. And again here I'm just going to move it down a bit, so go move, just a couple of meters. Yeah, okay that looks about right, now I'm just going to use this line tool and connect this over here and then I'm going to use the split element tool to split this circle and create this form. So now I can select this circle, go into 3D, now I can select this circle and I can select this thing and go create form and you can see it does something like this, so that's not what we want. I don't know why does it do that, but I found a way to fix it. So you just go here to model or reference line and you go to this spline through points and make sure that this is drawn face is checked and make sure you check this follow surface and then you just start creating a spline that goes along the edge of this surface you have over here and just go all the way around. Just make sure that you stay on that surface and you go to the end. And then you just go modify and you can select this new spline you have and you select this form over here and you go create form. And there you go, now we have this whole surface. And then you can just create a project new project and we can load this in. So I'm just going to go new architecture project, open this family up, 
go load into project. Let's close this up. Place it something like that. Select it. Mirror it. So I'm just going to go here to mirror. Mirror it around. And there you go. Here we have the Aldar HQ in Revit. And of course, the only last thing you need to do is you need to create a void, cut a void in it, and that's it. Mmm, donuts. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.